Uh, you're welcome on board. You're welcome on board. You're welcome on board. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Mr. Sunday. Good afternoon, Mr. George. Good afternoon. 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 Let's just two minutes for us to have enough students online. Two minutes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Today I'm not going to pay, play music. Please just bear with me uh, because uh, Facebook uh, warned me last week that uh, I'm doing a professional thing and playing of the music can be something else they can block me so and this is an avenue of passing information across to a law here in spain so so bear with me i'm not going to play music so we do play music before just to to like uh put people on hold so that we can have enough people online so oh uh, thank you what said thank you thank you thank you for joining thank you Sister Bukola. thank you precious abubaka thank you always Thank you for being there always, sister. Thank you very much. Let's just wait a minute more. A minute more. We are starting. Today's topic will be so wonderful. And for the benefit of people that are online. Oh, oh sorry. This person, somebody is calling already. Hello, please go to Facebook. Just type my name. Go to Facebook. Huh? Yo, enter please, I'm online, live. You will see you will see a live video, please. Oh sorry, he's one of the students that has problem in connecting. Oh uh, you're welcome on board, you're welcome on board, you're welcome on board. Masui, you're welcome on board. Yeah, you're welcome on board. You're welcome on board. But Oscar, you're welcome on board. You're welcome on board. Please, we should wait and call 10 minutes time after the lecture or you type your question when we're going. Today, we're going to take a topic on speed. On speed. I'm having issue with some student that wants to connect and they said it's not easy for them to connect on Facebook. I don't know. That was why I brought it from Instagram to this place. But I think I will still go back to Instagram because Facebook is like restricting uh, some kind of pictures I, I, I showed. So they're like, you have to do this, you have to do that. So please just bear with me. That's why uh, this week we're going to do some things without some pictures. Unless those pictures that I registered by myself and, and I have to take some approval for it. So today we are gonna, we're going to run... We're going to run the pro, uh, the, the lecture is going to be on speed, speed, speed. Most time you re remember that when people go to exam, they don't understand speed limits. And this causes a lot of problem in order to pass their exam. So in this case, uh, I, let me first of all, appreciate God. I bless God for giving us this, this journey so far. We've been here for some weeks now. And it has been so lovely. We've been hearing good reports from a lot of people, even outside Spain. And, and our numbers are increasing and we are sharing it. And a lot of people are calling in that oh, they really benefit those that cannot even attend our school. And those that are busy one way or the other maybe because of their job schedule timing. And here we try to, I'm only contributing my own quota. This is free. The Facebook page is free. But remember that we have a class where that is online, which is flexible, which we have groups on WhatsApp, we have groups on different places whereby we can teach and we send your material down to you, whatever you are. If you are outside Spain, just give us your address, we we'll post the material down to you. When you pay into our accounts, we are able to get everything across to you without no stress. So that one is going, that one is, is still live. And after the pandemic hits you, we're going to open school back for everyone who wants to learn uh, or, or physically with the teacher. But here on this platform, for benefit of people that can be in their parlor, in their house, in their closet, just to get a understand. If they follow us up, it's possible for you to pass if 
or you want us to send your material down to you just call us send your address we are able to get every material down to you so every saturday one o'clock we're here and in the process of this you have to understand that you can call in through a number whether whatsapp or direct call, or direct call on 620-586-038 six two zero five eight six zero three eight can be through whatsapp it can be through any of this meet and again you have to understand this again that the driver's license is one of the major documents here in in europe in europe and you need to understand that it's very, very important for you to have it as as a document that will complement your residence it's not only for driving it has a lot of benefits it's an authentic document which you can always show if you're stopped that you should relate another document closer to the one you have as a resident permit and also remember that there are many nigerians many african people that drive on the roadway with big cars ferrari and other stuff even without uh, spanish license and this can lead to prison prison though prison is filled that is why some police will stop you on the roadway they will only give you sanction and ask you to go but when you are not placing a right license, automatically you attend to, to, it can resort to prison. Remember that when you are caught with Nigerian driver's license, this is not Africa, this is an European Union. So one, they will charge you for not driving with a valid license. Two, they will charge you with a license that is not readable, which means it's fake. It might not be fake because you did it from the right source agency in Nigeria. But what I want to tell you is that they swap their license to be able to know if it's original. So when it's not original, what they need is that they call the embassy and the embassy to confirm that this is not right and you are facing at least two charges. So, and again, we want to encourage people that uh, the reason why we come on this platform is for people not to engage in my practice. Don't give somebody money to go and do exam for you. Now, it's against law. It's a big, it's a big law now in Spain that when someone goes to sit for you in exam and is caught, one person will use his resident permit even though you have passport spanish passport you are going to lose it so we encourage people not to start paying don't go and pay people i have people that have been calling that i paid somebody last year and now i can't renew my paper again i have somebody who called me la last week and said this and i said no you don't pay to go and look for problem it is better you start entering your bus and your metro underground sub without no stress because with this you don't have problem than putting yourself in a problem whereby you won't be able to solve it you know what it takes in spain when you have a case lawyer will hit his own and a lot of sanction a lot of cases will come up with it so you have to be very careful the reason why we're doing this is for you to be able to benefit those whether you have money or you don't have time or you don't have money you have time join us every saturday here and then, so today we are taking a second topic which is on the on our slabos which is you know, row on speed now what is speed speed what is speed as you all know speed is that relationship between the distance you travel and the time you cover which means the measured by speed the speed is measured by the distance you travel per time by the unit of time that is why the unit of speed is always kilometer per hour that kilometer is the distance and the hour is the time so when they talk about speed they mention the related to kilometer per hour now in this topic you're going to understand there are some concept in speed which we always see and when we get to exam is look i'm going to limit most of our teaching on exam here in spain and and you just have to understand me now this in this case there are some concepts in the exam which when you go for the exam you realize that they give you a number and they said what does this mean some people will say, ah, this is maximum speed, this is minimum speed, this is generic speed, this is this. Because you don't differentiate them. Now, let me just try to tell you, there's something we call maximum speed. Maximum speed is the top speed on that road. Top speed on that road. Remember last two weeks, I explained about road, highways, highways. And I told us that in Europe, we have four highways. I said the first one is motorway, the second one is dual carriageway, the third one is highway for automobile, and the fourth one is conventional road. Remember that these are four highways. We call it express in Nigeria. We call it interurban here. We call it intercity also. So these are four highways. They look alike. They look alike. But their speed limit differentiates them. Now, what are we talking about? The more first one, we are going to be using what we call the generic speed to explain all this road because some people might understand the specific speed 
but I'm going to explain the difference between specific speed and generic speed today in this course of this teaching. Now, let me just tell you, what is the maximum speed? Maximum speed is the top speed. That is the speed that you see in circular aid. Secular rate. Anytime you see secular rate and they put number in it, it means that they are talking about maximum speed. That is the top speed which you cannot exceed. When you exceed it, it becomes excessive speed. I repeat, when you exceed the maximum speed, which is the top speed of the road, you become, you are now doing what we call excessive speed, which warrants a sanction. Now, when you have a blue, secular blue with number in it, becomes a minimum speed. A mini, what is the minimum speed? A minimum speed is the lowest speed which you are permitted to do on a road. Only metrological or environmental condition can permit you to do lesser than the minimum speed. And when you are doing lesser than the minimum speed, it is considered as an abnormal speed. Remember, like, for example, when you have immobilization of your vehicle, something happens to your vehicle, an emergency happens, and you attempt to drive your car out from the next exit. You can use what we call the... Oh, the speed that is lesser than the minimum, which is called abnormal. Abnormal in that case, remember that is due to some kind of fault which develops in your vehicle. But abnormal speed is not just permitted anytime. Please help us to share with other people, help us to share, help us to share with people, help us to share on your Facebook so that it can go wide to people that need this. Now, in that case, you have to understand some other thing is you have what we call appropriate speed. Inappropriate speed. When we say appropriate speed, means that it's a kind of speed that is adaptable, that is adaptable to the condition of that vicinity where you are traveling. For example, in an area where you have your maximum speed is 50, like in a built up area, you are driving like 30 km per hour, it's still adaptable because of the condition of that environment environment so you have to understand that it is very, very important for you to understand that adequate speed matters inadequate becomes a speed remember in exam inadequate speed might not be up to up to the maximum speed for example on the motorway here the maximum speed is 120 you can be doing 110 or 100 and it becomes inappropriate why because of the meteorological condition. Maybe rain is falling heavily and you are doing 100 km per hour where the maximum is 120. You might be doing what we call the inappropriate speed because it is not good for the condition of that of that period because on the period, that period, we have rainfall. And when, you <coughs> and when you have a rainfall, remember that your braking distance will be double. In exam, it comes. Your break, what happens to your braking distance during rainy season? Your braking distance will be double. In snow or ice, what happens to your braking distance? Your braking distance will be times 10, multiplied by 10 fold. So those two, two questions come in exam and people fail it when they go to exam. The braking distance is the distance that permits you, that you cover when you start to apply brake until the car stops. So that is the braking distance. So in rainfall, it's double. When that is why you, re, you need to reduce your speed in rainfall in order to meet up to that. Now, in snow, remember that it's times 10. That is why you reduce your, you totally reduce your braking, the, your, your speed in, in snow and highs. And remember that you use the highest gear possible also in snow to drive. Now, there are other things which is called reduced speed. What, why do you reduce speed? Reduce speed because of the vicinity, because of what you witness on the environment. It might be. Due to that means your reduction of speed is in between your maximum and minimum. In between your maximum and minimum becomes your reduced speed. And remember that when you are reducing speed, you are reducing speed according to your physical and mental condition. According to your physical and mental, your physical health, because your condition matters when you are driving. The state of the road, the vehicle, and the weather matters. The other thing is your visibility, your visibility on the road. When you are driving and you have a clear visibility, you can drive normal. But when you don't have a clear visibility, you have to reduce what we call speed. There are areas where you reduce speed in abroad, most especially here. I said I'm going to limit it to horse here because of those that want to pass exam. Now, we have the um, when you get into a pedestrian crossing, what is a pedestrian crossing? An area where the users, the road users with foot or the road users with vehicle on motorized uses what is unmotorized unmotorized vehicle are what we call a bicycle the mope 
which is a Skota, whether two, three, or four-wheel tires. Now, when those vehicles are passing, you must know that you need to, whether the place is controlled by traffic lights, you have to understand that you reduce your speed in that area. When you're getting to any junction, any junction, I, I personally, I always tell people, even though if I have priority in that junction, I don't claim priority because somebody who is, the other, who is coming from the other side without priority might even be under the influence of drug and it will drive it will drive to incur an accident so in that case i watch when you get to any junction you have to watch so much and again when you get to a dangerous circumstances where you have snow rainfall potholes you need to reduce your speed and again when you are driving on the roadway you noticed a vehicle that is driving at abnormal slow speed maybe on the hard shoulder and you want to pass that vehicle be careful and reduce your speed also when you are driving beside behind a bus a bus then when that bus gets to a bus stop and they parked to drop people, be careful when you are overtaken because the, 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 the passenger from that bus will tend to cross through the front of the bus. And when they are crossing through the front, you might tend to overtake and hit them. So you have to reduce speed in this case and be very, very careful in order to, to, to get this done. Now I'm going to talk about what we call the speed limit. The speed limit is of two types. I told you that we have the generic speed and we have the specific speed. What is the generic speed? That is the speed that is being stipulated by rules. The rules. Every country has a speed limit. In Nigeria, they have a speed limit. Here in Spain, they have a speed limit. What we're talking about in this topic is the speed limit. So generic speed are the speed which you see that the government says on this road, this is this. On this road, this is it. Last week, I told us that many students left Madrid for practical. When they pass theory in Madrid, they go to another village to go and do their practical because they don't understand two things. They don't understand the road. They don't understand the speed. Because when you understand the road, you will understand the speed. Road and speed goes together. And in this case, you must be very care, careful when you are answering question in the exam when it comes to speed. Now, when we talk about the generic speed, we are talking about the speed that is stipulated by the rules. Now, when we talk about the specific speed, specific speed becomes a specified speed that is lesser than the stipulated by the rule, which is lesser than the generic. Remember in exam, the hax is specific speed higher than the generic? No. General speed is the generic speed. Specific becomes a lesser speed because of the vicinity. For example, in an area where on the, you are traveling on a highway of 120 km per hour maximum, and on getting to a portion on the roadway, they change the speed limit to 100. It means that they specify, maybe because of a bend, or because of the wideness of that area, or because of people that will tend to join from the entry slip or an exit slip outside of the road. Maybe that's why they reduce the speed. So in that area, you have to understand that bringing down a speed becomes a specific speed. They specify that speed. And remember, any place where they specify speed, you cannot add overtaking you cannot increase your speed in order to overtake because there's a danger, there's a presence of danger in that area. So some other thing which you have to understand is the effect, the effect of speed on a driver. Who is the driver? Last two weeks I explained, driver are people or someone in charge of the steering mechanism, in charge of the steering mechanism, that is the person who is driving. But remember, in practical class, when you're doing practical, you are not a driver until you attain your, you get your, your, your license. So in practical class, you are not the driver. The teacher sitting beside you is still the driver because in driving school, we have the other side kind of, we have another additional kind of pedal which the teacher controls, which is more active than your own. So in that case, you have to understand that when that comes in the, in the exam, because there is, there's an exam question that talks about who is the driver and they put a picture of a driving school vehicle with teacher and student in it. And the student is on the steering mechanism. So in that case, the student is not the, the, the driver. Now, what are the effe effect of, the, of, of, of speed? Of speed, you know, when you speed, the effect of it on the driver. The first one is that it will reduce your reaction capacity. What is capacity? Capacity is your ability. Ability is your strength. Does that mean, which means anytime you speed, you know, sometimes people tell you that, oh, when I speed is when I enjoy. No, when you speed, your capacity is reduced. Your strength is reduced. So when you are speeding, remember that your reaction, your reaction capacity, that is reaction to strength, your strength to react to an incident, an obstacle become reduced. Now, again, you have what we call reduce in vision field. 
you have a reduced vision field. That means you, everything is like going faster. You are not having a clear picture of the road, which becomes what we call a tunnel effect. In exam, they use this terminology as a tunnel effect. What is tunnel effect? Tunnel effect is when you have a kind of reduction in the visual field. Now, we have the other thing, which is that it affects your capacity, your capacity to anticipate. Anticipate is that preparing to act. It affects it. It affects it. And remember that speed reduce, uh, increases your tension, increases fatigue, increases aggressiveness. People don't even know that speed. In exam, there's one simple question that comes and people fail it in exam here. They said, does speed affect, affect, your, affect fatigue? They said, how can speed affect fatigue? Yes, fee, speed increases fatigue. What is fatigue? Fatigue is tiredness. You're getting tired. So the more you speed, the more you get tired. Now, we're going to the generic speed. I said I'm going to talk about the basic thing here on the speed so that I won't divert. Now, the, we, have, we have groups of vehicles here in abroad, but according to those vehicles, the speed limits are different. Two weeks ago, I explained something about two kinds of vehicles. I said, someone who, have two vehicle, who has two cars, let me just try to uh, explain something here for us, just one minute. Sorry. 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 Somebody who has this two car. For example, let's imagine that this is two car. This is two car. Now, this car is your Mercedes. And this car is your uh, BMW. Now, this two car is your personal car in the house. And this car, you wrote, okay, chuku pure water on it because you're supplying pure water. Your private car. You know, in Nigeria, this car becomes a company car. We call it company cars. But when it comes here, it becomes a derived car. We call it derived car in exam. Derived car. Derived car. Now, this is a derived car. And this is a private car. Your private car, no name was written on it. Now, the different, they have different speed on the highway. They don't have the same speed. On a motorway, when this one is doing 120, this one cannot do 120, though it's a private car. But remember, it becomes a derived car when you mark or you write name of your company on it. Or anything is written on it so far is a company name. It becomes a company car in Nigeria. We call it company car. But here, it's called derived car. So the same speed which this one is doing, this one cannot do it. So your private car has a higher speed than when you start writing something on the vehicle. For example, people that have churches here that buy car and put name of the church. That vehicle cannot do 120 again on the highway. The speed becomes lesser. Now I'm going to explain. Now let me teach. Whatever happens to private car happens to motorcycle. Because motorcycle and private car, they are on the same group. Now I explained to us that we have four kinds of highways. The first highway is this motorway, dual carriageway, highway for automobile, and the conventional road. And when it comes to motorway, the maximum speed of a motorway is 120. That 120 is meant for private car and motorcycle. Now, dual carriageway, the maximum speed becomes 120 also. The maximum speed, last time I explained difference between those two roads, motorway and a dual carriageway. The difference is that one has a tow gate, the other one does not have two gates. Now, the third road, which is called highway for automobile, means a road with maximum speed of 100 km per hour. And the conventional road, which is the last one, the fourth highway, has two, so two kind of speed. The one of 90 and the one of 100. Now, the minimum speed, which I explained, that minimum speed are always in blue color. In blue color. Now, minimum speed becomes... On motorway and dual carriageway is 60. Fixed, 60. When you go less than 60 of that minimum way, a minimum page, minimum minimum speed, it's uh, it means that you're going what we call ab abnormal speed. Please, uh, uh please, uh, can somebody just help me to put uh, our number because we'll be calling. I'll be finishing up in two minutes so that we'll take time to receive questions. Thank you very much, Sister Esther. So. So in that case, after this, after in the next two minutes, we can you can be typing your questions. You can be typing your questions now because we'll still finish up so that we can we can ask questions. And today I'm going to do some questioning, uh, likely questioning exam and explain some things to us. Remain about it. Now in this case, when you have the maximum speed in conventional road can be 190, as I said, on the highway for automobile 100, motorway and dual carriage 120. Minimum speed now is. 
60 for motorway and dual carriageway. But apart from those two roads, every other road has half of the maximum speed becomes the minimum speed. Remember that in a built-up area, which comprises of the street and the urban road, the minimum speed, the maximum speed in that area is called 50. And the minimum speed is the half of the maximum speed, which is 25. 25. So, some other thing is that, okay, there are cases where you can overtake by adding 20. This question comes in exam, and a lot of students mix it up so much. When they said, can you overtake to add 20 to the generic speed of your road? That application is not permitted on a motorway. It is not permitted on a dual carriageway. It is not permitted on inside, inside an urban area. Remember that it is only permitted on a conventional road and highway for automobile, which means highway for automobile, 100. Conventional road of 100 and conventional road of 90. And only for these two vehicles, your private car and motorcycle. So every other vehicle like derived car, buses, adaptable mixed vehicle, lorry, you cannot add 20 to overtake. I repeat, when you are adding 20, you can add 20 on highway for automobile and the two conventional road. Which means when you add 20 to your maximum speed, which is on more highway for automobile, which is 100, it becomes 120. So I can use 120 in order to overtake on highway for automobile and conventional road of 100. But the conventional of 90, when I add 20 to it, it becomes 110. So, but remember, there are conditions that permit you to overtake, to have 20 in order to overtake. One, when the vehicle is doing a speed less than the minimum speed of that road. But if that vehicle at your front is doing the same speed, you are 20. You cannot borrow the 20. But when the vehicle be, is doing less than the maximum speed, yes, you can add 20 to the maximum speed in order to overtake. Another thing is that this is only applicable, as I said, to motor vehicle, which is your private car and motorcycle. And again, you have to understand that it's only on highway for automobile and conventional road. Good. So, there are other things which you have to understand on special vehicle in this way, the speed to face special vehicle. You know, we talked about special vehicle three weeks ago, Saturday, and I explained that special vehicle are vehicles that are self-propelled or towed, which are used in the field of works. And I try to identify some things to us that there are different types of special vehicles which are grouped into three. We have the one in the agricultural sector, the construction sector, and the service field now and I, and I want to tell you today about their speed there are three speed that relates to special vehicle three speed one in exam don't mix these three together this is the game in exam don't mix these three together in exam if you are asked what is the generic speed of a special vehicle the generic speed of a special vehicle is 40 kilometer power 40 kilometer power now in case you are asked another question if the space if the if the special vehicle can do more than 60 km per hour how can i know that if the speedometer gauge shows that it can do more than 60 automatically the maximum speed outside of town becomes 70 i repeat the maximum speed of any special vehicle that can do more than 60 is 70 now in case they ask you again what is the maximum speed that is towing a trailer or hauling an harvester or having an attachment behind that's maximum or does not have a brake light sorry does not have a brake light also it means that the maximum speed of that special vehicle is 25 remember here i explained i said one generic speed of 40 km power the second one, if that special vehicle can do more than 60 km power, outside of town, the generic speed is what? 70 km power. The third one, if that special vehicle is towing a trailer and harvester or has an attachment behind or it does not have a brake light, the maximum speed becomes 25. So these three, note them down in exam very well so that you know. And again, remember, there's a question that comes and people fill this question so much when you talk about bicycle. What is the maximum speed of a bicycle? Every layman fills it because a question says, what is the maximum speed of a bicycle? A says, as long as you can pedal. B says, according to your strength. And C says, 40 kilometer power. 
the reason that is 40 is 40 because the maximum speed of of uh, sorry is 45 because the maximum speed of that vehicle because that vehicle is ascribed as 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 unmotorized is on a vehicle that is considered as unmotorized so no matter how you pedal it you might not go more than 45 but remember that we have some that are pedal assistance pedal assistance is different like this new technology kind of motor bicycle but we're talking about when it comes to the maximum speed on a normal base it's 45 so it's 45 so that is that is uh another thing which we need to understand here is oh uh, i think the difference between the the specific speed which i explained specific speed that i said can be lesser also can be lesser than the generic but when you have any specific speed you cannot overtake you cannot add to overtake so i think that is the end of uh speed today any question from anyone any question from the house any question from the house any question you can call in if you have any question you can call in also thank you very much pastor Pat. thank you very much uh you can call in also you can call in you can call in through a number to ask questions if you cannot write those questions on board or if you're busy to write you can call in through a number it can be whatsapp or direct number direct call 620-586-038 you can call in we we'll give you some seconds to tell us your question general question generally generally do you take online class yes we have online class we have online class going on after the class you can call me i'll tell you the price we'll post your material to you we'll kill you online and we'll prepare you for exam we have online class we have online class everyone know is there fine when you drive at a speed lesser than the minimum yes there's a fine for it in spain when you drive at a lesser speed that is lesser than the minimum lesser than the minimum is dangerous to other people on the roadway so when when you are caught without the what the police will ask you is that why are you why are you driving so now let, let's receive this caller uh good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon please when you Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Okay, I'm I'm hearing you, ma. So I want to ask a question. What is the question, ma? So what is a, a narrow lane, sir? What is a narrow lane? A narrow lane. Very good. That is a narrow a narrow what is the narrow lane yeah i saw i saw that you asked you because i gave you people assignment on the online class yesterday so i'm going to teach it today don't worry i'm going to explain it is that your question is that the only question you have man is that the only question you have hello man Please, please lower, lower the lower, the lower. Okay, let me answer you. A narrow, a narrow, yes. lower, a narrow lane is the lane that ha, that is that has a wide less than three meters. A narrow lane is a lane that has wide with the width is less than three meters. Am I here, sir? Huh? Because of the echo, echo. Is echoing because you 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 have to lower the voice of your video. You have to lower the voice of your video. Okay, so you have to go back. So I repeat, your the narrow lane is the lane that has a width of less than three meters. Are you with me? Less than three meters. Less than three, a, a, a lane that ha, that is less than three meters is because it become, it's called a narrow lane. Okay, sir. Okay, man. Thank you very much. Any other question? So, no, no, sir. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, the caller the caller asks a question about the narrow lane, 
and we try to explain what the narrow lane. I think uh, any other question, any other question from anyone in the house, any other question, please you can call in 620-586-038. It might be through WhatsApp or direct call. And when you call, please lower the video so that it won't echo. Uh, narrow, now, if you are driving on two-way road and there are three lanes separated by broken stripes, which lane should you use to turn left? You use the center lane to turn left you stay at the center lane now you are driving on a two-way rail that has that has three three that means one coming two going so when you want to turn to the left you stay at the center you stay at the center which is called a waiting lane for you to turn to the center to turn to the left any other question from anyone any other question any other question today i'm going to have some questions I will have some question in case somebody does not. If you don't have question, let me ask. Let me ask. Let me, I will throw some question and I will solve. I will solve them. This question I'm teaching a likely question in exam. They are likely question in exam. And if you've been to exam before, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Likely question in exam. Now, in case you are hacks, you are hacks. As the owner of B license, can you drive a motorcycle? Owner of B license. Can you you can also send your question you can also call in please you can send your question or you call in you can send your question you call in our number is on the page you can call in but i'm just treating question i'll treat some 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 few questions here now if you if you're driving with your if you if you possess your b license can you drive a motorcycle yes but remember there are three types of motorcycle according to license there's a motorcycle of c there's a motorcycle of C1, there's a motorcycle of C2. I'm going to teach that in one topic. Call on 620-586-038. Don't call on this one I'm teaching on. Please call on call on six. Please uh, call on six. The person who is calling on 620-586-038. Please, someone should help us to write the number. Don't call on this one. I can't pick it. If I pick it, it will disconnect us. To disconnect us, please. Please, 620. Sister Esther helped me to put it 620-586-038. Please don't call on this. It will disconnect the whole class. Please. So, the license, if you have B, the motorcycle, the kind of motorcycle you can drive on is C1. C1. In case you are asking exam, C1. And remember that C1 in different European country, they have a law that guides it, that kind of motorcycle. And in, in, in Spain, they said, if you drive, if you are, if you with with your B, for, for certain years you can be able to, to to have it without going to school. So that is that. In case you are hacks, uh, what is the what what is the? Please call uh, call on two six zero five eight six. 038 038 that's the number to call in not not the other number not the other like a number please the other like a number is disconnecting us it will disconnect us please to disconnect us to disconnect us please because of some people are calling on this six two we place the number there six two zero five eight six zero three eight let me question let me take question from the house any question from the house good oh a signal made with the ham to one of manoeuvre always valid yes is valid is valid when when the light is not properly is not functioning remember that the light should be functioning but in case the light is not functioning the the one for the arm valid i thought it two weeks ago and i said arm will supersede the light let me take this caller, please. Hello, ma. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Can I? Can we hear your question? Okay, sir. Um, I want to ask question because uh, in the exam, this question lose of uh, points and the uh, lost okay. of points. Okay. Lose of point and lost of point. Lose of point and lost of points. Yes. Okay. Let uh, let me let, let let me answer you. Let me cut you and answer. 
let me let me let me cut yes, time sir. so that you can hear clear right so good now loss of points and loss of points remember that every driver's license here in spain carries points why did they why does it carry points it carry points because when you commit an atrocity or an offense they reduce some point until when it's totally reduced and they, they they turn it to invalid kind of card for you now when you lose points when you lose points when you lose points and the question wants to come up it, it will come up with losing of points when you lose points you can go back to school to bring back points that is what we call recuperación de punto in spanish you go back school to do exam to bring back your points that is if your point is not totally is not totally they didn't totally they didn't remove it totally now let me just let me just cite an example they said if your question if if your if your if your if you if you have like eight points now eight points and they remove four you have to go and get the four pack there are many people in madrid here that lost their point maybe through alcohol and somebody said don't worry it will come back you lost three points it remain five they said to come back another weekend you lost you lose another three you remain two that two cannot carry you again so what you need to do is to go back to the exam and do exam of bringing back point is different and when you lose point remember you can't do the exam in english you can only do it in spanish that's the punishment and again when you lost your license lost you lost your card you lost you lost it it's different from lose points so when you lost your card you have to go for duplication you go to the office direct and ask them to give you duplication are you getting me so that's it mr steve is it what i paid for when i was your student is what you are teaching for free now <laughs> yeah <laughs> sister favor <laughs> thank you very much what we are doing is that i'm contributing quotas to the nigerian community i want to help my nigerian community to see how they can get the english speaking people not only nigeria because i have people that are not nigeria on the on the forum uh for them to be able to to encourage i'm encouraging i'm encouraging i know it's not cheap but i'm encouraging so it's only meant for people that take that priority will get it you understand? Even though when you do something free, I come to the Apollo. Some people might not take it. You understand me? So uh, I'm so sorry if I took money from you that years back. But now your car, I've given you more than the money I took from you. So please bear with me. You understand me? So it's not free. Remember that we have a class online, and this is just a basic, a basic, a basic teaching. We have a com a, com a comprehensive kind of teaching, a follow up online if you're not my student you can't call me for that but we have this is just an avenue to help those that are been to exam and listening to question how they can pass how they can pass so bear with me sister favor with due respect i'm so sorry huh? longest time man. longest time uh, okay uh auntie favor have it really low there is love issue oh you see this mc man of god Leave this MC. It's too, it's too, everything is free, but not everything that is free. Eh? Everything is not free, eh? sir. Everything is not free because everything, madam, is not free. So everything is not free. Good. So, any other question from anybody? But I already, you're welcome on board. Any other question? Any other question from the house? Any other question from the house? Any other question from the house? No, Allah. Thank you very much. Any other question from the house? Any other question from the house? Let me ask a question. Uh, if you're driving on the roadway and you experience a police officer that tells you to stop and you experience a traffic light that shows green, remember that green light says go. What you need to do is it means that two different signs are contradicting each other. The traffic light says go green and the police officers say stop which one will i obey i must obey the traffic agent which is the police officer why because according to the priority among sign the police officer is number one somebody asked me in our class online yesterday and i said i'm going to bring it up here let me receive this caller please hello sister 
Hello, sir. Say good morning. Hello, sir. Good afternoon from Madrid. Good, good afternoon, sir. Are you the one calling no, on the same? Are you sir. the one calling from the? No, it's me. You are always controversial, like yeah, Obaseki. You are always controversial, like Obaseki and Oshimole. Please. Okay, man, because I'm not from the name, I'm from Delta. Okay, okay. So I know somebody will attack me there now. So let's let's go. What's your question, man? <laughs> oh, sir, what is it? Uh, what is a narrow carriageway and a narrow lane? The difference between the two. Uh, narrow carriageway and a narrow lane. Uh, because I gave you people the assignment yesterday, I just explained what is called the narrow, narrow, narrow lane. Narrow lane is a lane that is less than three meters wide. A narrow carriageway is a is a carriageway, is a roadway that is less or that is 6.5 meters wide. Hello, in your book, in your in, let me tell you where it is in your book. Go to subheading 12 okay, and subheading 13. In your book, subheading 12 and subheading 13. Uh -huh. You will see where they mark blue. That is where the answer is. Okay. So, very good. Okay. Thank you very much. My any other question? No, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Uh -huh. A question comes up now. Sorry, let me just see. You're doing a great job. I must confess. Thank you, man of God. Love you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for those that are appreciating. Thank you. Uh, please, can you tell us the difference between the highways, dual carriageway, motor, dual carriageway, and motorway? How do you differentiate them? Thank you. Oh, uh, uh, K, K, please. Uh, the difference between the two is this motorway and dual carriageway. I explained last time with a picture. They have symbol. The symbol of a motorway is a symbol with something like bridge crossed it. I don't want to show picture now uh, because I'm not having it here prepared. So, but dual carriageway has autovia in it. Autovia, they put autovia in it. Let me just see if I can, sorry, let me just see if I can quickly, I can quickly have, have it here. I think I should have it here. Sorry, dual carriageway. Do a carriageway. So I'm not away and do a carriageway. Sorry. 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 I don't have it here. So motorway. Motorway. The difference is just that one. Other another difference is motorway has a toll gate. You cannot finish the road without paying a toll gate. And dual carriageway does not have toll gates. Remember that they have similarity, which is the same maximum speed of 120, minimum speed of 60. But the difference is just a diagram. Diagram. The diagram tells me the road where I'm driving on. That is because of the diagram. That's why many people scared to do practical in Madrid. You understand me? The diagram will tell you if you're driving on a motorway or if you're driving on a dual carriageway. Hope I answered your question. I'm trying to look for the picture, the picture of a motorway in order to, to explain to give you the diagram because it has to do with diagram. It has to do with diagram. Sorry, it has to do with diagram. And do a carriageway. Not we and do a carriageway. But any other question? Any other question from anyone? Any other question? Let's take more question. Any other question from the house? Please, if I answer your question rightly, just thump up. Let's let's see if 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 you're clear. So that if you're not clear, I need to re-explain. When it comes to motorway and dual carriageway, remember it's it has to do with it has to do with sign, the sign board, the sign post. The sign post of a motorway is different from the one of dual carriageway. The dual carriageway carries a name written on it, a name a name like autovia, which is Spanish word autovia. So, but the same the same has similar speed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. I really appreciate. I appreciate. Another question says, if you are driving a special vehicle, you are driving a special vehicle that is not agricultural, agricultural, special vehicle that is not agricultural, that is more 
than 3,500. Can you use your B license? Listen. Agricultural vehicle that is less than 3,500 or more than 3,500, your B can drive it because you are using the agricultural vehicle in the farm. But when they are talking about vehicle that is not agricultural, that is a special way. Brother Austin, you are welcome on board. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so if you're having those kind of vehicle that are construction or service vehicle that are more than 3,500, remember that that vehicle, you cannot drive it to your B license when it's more than 3,500. Sister Debbie, you are welcome on board. Please, if you have any question, you can call in 620-586-038. Or if you have any encouragement or you've been to exam before, you've been to exam before, you've been to exam before, and in that case, if you've been to exam before, and in that case, you realize that you met question or you need to share something with people, you can call us on WhatsApp also or direct number. Share your experience. The purpose of this is to help people to pass. You can share your experience if you're if an host student, you can share your experience also. If you're a new student, you have an experience with somewhere or this one, or you want to ask question. Remember that we have another class online. It's not that this is just a free aspect on Facebook. We have a class online, which after the class, you can call my number written on the board. If you want to be part of us, it's just a small token of money to be part of us. A caller, please. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Hello. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Please, you have to lower your video. You have to lower the volume of the video so that you can we can hear you clear. I'm hearing you, sir. Yeah, okay. What is your question, please? What is your question? Okay, what is it, sir? What is recommended to the What is what? What is recommended to say fuel? Yes. What is recommended to say fuel? There are a lot of things to say fuel. Let me explain. There are a lot of things to say fuel when driving. You can save your fuel. You can save your fuel through the pattern of your driving. Your pattern of driving, when you drive normal, you don't change gear anyhow. You have to always, don't wait until when the chair make noise. You have to use the revolution gate to change your gear. You're saving fuel. You understand me? Your driving pattern, your driving pattern matters. How to save fuel, the way you drive. You know, when somebody drives like all these uh, hard bureaus, that vroom, vroom, all this thing, you zoom in, you, 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 you will be consuming, you'll be using more fuel. And when you, when you have too much load on your vehicle, when the vehicle carries too much load, remember that you use more fuel. When you have a roof rack upon your vehicle, like most of this Jeep that they hang things on top, anytime you have a roof rack or you have load on top, it consumes more fuel. There are a lot of things that can make you anything that is not that is not okay for by the manufacturer of the vehicle. It means that is you are not saving fuel. It it increases your fuel. Even ordinary antenna. When somebody mount an antenna on the vehicle without the manufacturer uh, uh, prescription, you are like you are like using more fuel. You might not notice, but you're using more fuel. Are we clear? So, so please, yes, okay, please drop from your side because almost three callers are entering. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, lower your video. Longest time, brother. Are you online now? I'm online with you. Please quickly talk because calls, callers are calls are entering. Please. Okay, please. I want to ask question about um, yeah. Lower the video. Lower your video volume. Okay, I'll lower it. Please quickly please. ask your question uh, because horizontal signal. Can you explain me about horizontal signal? Horizontal signal. Which one? The one of police or the one on the road marking? What? Yeah, what is horizontal, horizontal signal about the road marking? On the road marking, very good. Okay, I will answer and let me... And then, and then my second question goes about the um, driving license for the study. Uh, how many points you have to have? 
for the starting of okay for the starting a, a new driver a new driver will have eight exactly. points every new driver when okay. you pass you have eight points eight, eight points according to years after two or three years they increase it to 12. after another two or within three years if you don't have any reduction in points they increase it to 15. 15 is the highest point anybody can have anyway i, I was in somewhere where somebody was talking that ah now i have 20 points somewhere and i was laughing you understand me because 15 is the maximum point anybody can have are you clear yeah. so yeah, clear. so let me answer your second question let me just drop line with you now this is second question says what is the purpose of the horizontal solid line horizontal line that is the white line on the roadway horizontal line means a continuous line which you cannot cross you cannot drive on it it demarcates your lane it makes you to drive on your own lane you don't go out you don't go out of it when it's broken a broken which is discontinuous becomes the one you can overtake or go out any other question uh yes we can always uh, save fuel by not winding down window very good you use your uh, air condition when you wind down window you don't save fuel also you don't save fuel but you know this mentality is not into nigeria because when somebody because of the weather condition over there if you if you use too much ac sometimes it gets stuffy in the vehicle and it's like that so but here is another answer you have to lock up your window because when you wind down window you 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 use more fuel than necessary any other question from anyone any other question from anyone i was explaining something about the uh the the uh, line b license that with an agricultural vehicle whether higher than 3500 or lesser than 3500 your b license can drive it but when it comes to special vehicle of service vehicle service vehicle are this vehicle they use on the public road to clean the road to water the road to carry those beans or you have construction tools construction vehicles when they are more than 3500 your b license cannot drive it are we clear another question is can you double park can you double park in exam be very, very careful can you double park you cannot double park when somebody has parked and you want to park beside the person no you don't double park you can double stop but you don't double park what is different between stopping and parking this comes in exam let me just try to explain something to us with a picture i think i should come up with a picture in this case with a picture in this case please just bear me with a picture in this case look at this picture very well look at this picture very well this picture is parking no parking no stopping but when it's only one instead of two when it's just one it means no stopping in that area i can park but when it's two means no parking no stopping what's the difference between parking and stopping the difference between parking and stopping is that parking is stationalize your vehicle or you are out of the vehicle or you are more than two minutes inside the vehicle but what is stopping stopping is when you are still in the vehicle less than two minutes so anytime less than two minutes stopping is no more considered as stopping it becomes parking a question from a, an honorable Shegun said, At what age should a child sit in the front without using a child seat belt? A child seat room. Good. Good. A child can sit at the front. A child. Uh, forget, sometimes in exam, they trick people by saying uh, 12 uh, years, 7 years. Forget about that. The major thing is that when a child is sitting at the front seat, you must think of the height of that child. If that child is less than 135 centimeter height, that child must use a seat restraint system, a seat restraint system, which is homogulated according to the height. But when that child is above 135 to 150, he might use it, he might not. But remember that it does not matter with age. Somebody who's parent at all. If you see seven years old of a boy that is tall, the height might be more than even 135 centimeters. So you can't use age to identify. When they use age in exam, they only want to trick you. They want to see whether you understand the difference between the age and the height. They don't use age. You know, when they call a ch 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 child in exam, they are like talking about 7, 12 years. But 
they want you they want to identify they want you to identify whether you understand the difference between the age or the height the height has to do it has to do with the height both front and back both front and back but in exam if you are asked where is the best place to put your child at the back at the center at the back at the center but for safety is good you can put your child at the back but the reason why they say at the center is that so that you won't have the impartation in case of a collusion or accident you won't have any impartation from the left or the right door you understand me that's why you are asked to place the child at the center behind a child can sit at the front remember that when the child is still when you have it still a baby and you put the baby on the baby seat you have to back the dashboard you must back the dashboard in a way whereby the mother will be able to be looking at the baby and you must disactivate the airbag on the co-pilot side. You disactivate the airbag. How do you disactivate the airbag? You disactivate it by turning it off. Because if you are stopped by the police officer in abroad, in Europe, well, the first thing they will look is that whether the, the, the airbag at the front seat where you place the baby is working. If it's working, they are going to give you a serious sanction. Because in case of collusion, when that hair back comes in, come, comes up, it will it will push the baby and it might make him to suffocate or he. You understand me? So you have to understand that. So it's very, very important that when you place your child at the front seat, disactivate the hair back first and make sure that that baby you have the back to the dashboard. And it's against the law to put your leg on the dashboard if you are even an adult sitting at the front seat. So it's very important. So when you are not using that place for baby, activate it back. How did you activate? How, how did you activate the airbag? They, when you open your door, the Paco Pilot side door, you see a place where they put off and on airbag. Just put your key, turn it off. When you want to put it back, put put it on. There you cannot disconnect or disactivate the airbag on the driver's side. Remember that one. That one is fixed. Do age? So age doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not saying age doesn't matter. As a child, I say age has to do with the child. But when it comes to the seat restraint system, the chair, the seat is according to the height. I'm talking about the seat restraint system. But you know when a baby, you put a baby in the in the seat, the baby, it cannot sit. Why do you use seat belt? You use seat belt for you not to have a submarine effect. And when what the purpose of submarine effect? When you are less than 135 centimeter height, height, automatically you will submarine. Are you getting me? So the tricking of age in exam, they are only using age to like the stop. The major thing is the height. I repeat, if you still have any question, you can type because we have five minutes to go. You can type in your question on the on the on the live on live video screen, or you call our number 620-586-038. You can call in like the way other callers if you have no time to type. You can use another phone to call, but when you call in, please try to lower the volume of your video so that it won't echo. Now, a question says, what about if you and the child is the same, is the only one inside the car without the mom? Where is the right place to put the child? You can put the child at the front seat. No problem. It doesn't matter. Uh, we babysit. Father babysits here. Mother and father, they babysit. So you can put your child, you can put it at the back, but so far is on the seat to strain system that is that is that is that can accommodate the child and that is that is that is homogulated for that height and the baby. Another question can only use the front seat for a child when the back is occupied. Is it correct? Yes, when the back is occupied, you don't have a choice. Or I have five children. I can put one at the front. You understand me? Three at the back and we are so that's that's i think the front the front look the front or the back seat permits anybody but the condition of the front seat is 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 that you must when you're carrying a baby disactivate the airbag when any child is sitting at the front seat remember the height 135 centimeter lesser should use a street seat restraint system Above 135 to 150, might use a seat restraint system or use the seat belt direct. But when you are above 150 meters, the person might use just ordinary seat belts. It's normal. It's normal. My guy at the top, sir. So, 
So if you if you any other question, any other question, any other question from anyone, any other question, can you use on in the built up area? No, you cannot use on in the built up area. A question comes in the exam, you can't use on in the built up area. You can only use on outside the built up area that is outside an highway. When you're planning to overtake or you notice an experience of an emergency, maybe someone wants to cause an accident on the roadway. You can use horn outside of town, but inside town, no, you cannot use horn. What is the effect of the of, of what is the effect of the effect the effect of stress on driver? Effect of stress on driver. Remember that your your fatigue will increase. Your reaction capacity will decrease. Because when you're under stress, you get tired as a driver and it will increase it will decrease what we call your your reaction capacity remember i told you what is reaction when well, we're talking about the capacity reacting capacity capacity is your strength capacity in driving is your ability so your strength is reduced through the factors that reduce safety any other question, please you can call in if you don't if you can't type, you can call in 620-586-038. We'll be closing for today in the next three minutes. Any other question? Any other question? Any other question? Any other question? At the four junction, at the four junction, without sign, without sign, who should go first? A four junction without sign, who should go first? The general law says anyone who is coming from the right has the right of way. So just look at your right. Give right of way to the person coming from your right. Am I making sense? If I'm making sense, thump up. If you understand what I just said, if you are if you are on the four junction. On four junction, anyone who is coming from the right has the right of way. Anyone who is coming from the right has the right of way. So anyone who is coming from the left is the last to go. If you get it, just thump up. Thump up if you get it. Let me see whether you, you understand the theory. It comes in exam. On the four junction, on the four junction, who should go first? The person coming from the right. Who should go last? The person coming from the left. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any other question? Any other question? How many plate number must a motorcycle have? How many plate number must a motorcycle have? Motorcycle have only one plate number. In exam, don't go and pick two. Don't say because you see a bokeh in Lagos with plate number at the front and you see another plate number at the back. No. Plate number is only at the back and is yellow in color. Here in, uh, in Spain, yellow in color. Yellow in color. You understand me? Only one plate number has a motorcycle. This question comes in exam and many Nigerian people fail it. Why do they fail it? Because we have a mentality of two plate number on motorcycle in Nigeria. So please, uh, and at the Glorieta. Uh -huh. At the Glorieta, Glorieta means roundabout. At the roundabout, who has rights? Anyone in the roundabout has right of way over the person who is joining the roundabout. So when I see somebody in the roundabout, I have to allow the person to move before me coming into the roundabout. Can someone's driver's license be confiscated when you want to renew if you don't, you didn't pay fine or multa? If you don't pay fine or multa, it's on your record. And nobody will hold your license for that. But it depends on some sanction. Sanction, but most time, many people they've lost their points. They've lost their points. I I think December, before I travel down to Nigeria, I have one student that I took to go and renew, it's ten years. And we, when we got there, we realized that this person has lost, has lost the point for years and does not know. And I was asking the brother. I said, Why did you? Why don't you renew? He said, because somebody said, uh, after three years, the points will come back. I said, the point did not come back. And we print out the, 
the Ustificante, the, the, the proof, and he sees that the point could not come back, and they said, because you did not come, your license is withdrawn finally. You have to start from beginning. So I think that brother has joined me January before the pandemic period, and I think he will, he will be sitting for exam now. So that's it. So it's possible. Anything is possible. It depends. But before something, before they, 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 they seize your license, there should be something. They can't just seize it. They can't just seize it. Now, another question is, is it advisable for some that sleep at all time to go? Is it, is it advisable for some that sleep all the time to go for driving school? Okay. <laughs> if, you, if you have uh, sleeping sickness, it's not good for you to drive oh, because you might be driving and you just sleep. So if you know that is a sickness, you don't need to go for driving. But if you want, I have the medicine to wake you up and to have it. So you can call me. I will give you the medicine. And the medicine is for you to come to my class online. I teach you and I motivate you. I make you to wake up from the slumber so that you can get it. Any other question? Any other question? We have two minutes to go. Sorry for all the question, but can you please touch on the right? Uh, you don't need to beg me. Sorry, I'm online to teach. I'm online. Don't need to beg me. Sorry, I'm doing the job. Please. Oh, uh, sorry for. Okay, but um, uh, on the right of way for Glorieta and Glorieta, big, big, big and small roundabouts. I'm not getting your question, but can you please touch on the right of way? Okay, the right of way. I'm talking about the right of way in roundabout. In roundabout, anyone who is in the roundabout, who is driving in the roundabout, has the right of way over the person joining the roundabout. So when I'm getting to the roundabout, I see vehicle in the roundabout. I have to I have to honor those vehicles in the roundabout. Do you understand me? I have to honor those vehicles in the roundabout. That is it. That's just right of way. You give right of way to the vehicle in the roundabout. Or you get to the roundabout, you see a group of cyclists coming in and one has entered. You must allow all the cyclists to go in before you join. So you don't claim right when people are already in the roundabout. And when you join the roundabout and you hit someone who is in the roundabout, automatically you are at fault. Any other question from anyone? Any other question? If the, any other question? Please, uh, we take line, we take uh, teaching, intensive teaching online, which we have a group. After this class, you can call us if you want to be our student. It's just with a few money, few money. We post the material down to you, or if you're living in Madrid, we'll get it across to you. We have students outside Spain, outside Madrid. So if you're interested, you can join us. You call us on 620-586-038. We teach at least some days and we follow up with different top with different tests online to like perfect every student that we need to pass. And we stand with you until you pass. We stand with you until you pass. We make it possible. Even though when you get when you when you lose all the confidence, we re energize you. We activate your vision. We activate your faith to make sure that you get it. Driver's license is important. You can get it. If that sister or that brother that does not even intellectual like you can get it, you can get it. Many of us foreigners, we've missed the track many years ago. When we get license, we don't know that there's a valuable document that can. It's not just to drive. Thank God that most of the good job now, if you don't have a license, you can't even get it. Because why? Not because they need your car. It's because they want to secure a good contract with you and the company it is very important and you can do it the reason why i came on facebook is that you can do it i want us to tell millions of people i want to see how many people i will touch this year that is my own message that is my own theory for this year money is not everything you can get it it is possible you can get it you can get it you can get it just wake up one morning and said i deserve to have a license you can get it make a move get the right materials what has been giving you a kind of storm, brainstorming headache is because you are not using the right material. We use the right material that tallies with the traffic. That is why our students are unique. When my student goes to exam, 
and they have an error, a mistake. You will know your mistake. Why won't you know your mistake? You will know your mistake because you've gotten a right teaching, a right understanding. We'll break it down like teaching like a baby. So if you see, open up with us, you can give us a call. After this teaching, if you're living outside Spain, outside Madrid, we take students online also. They join us. When you want to do your exam, you come down, we organize uh, uh, the exam date for you. You come down, you do your exam, and you go back. Theory is the problem. When you're able to get theory, practical is simple. Why? Because practical is a script. You start getting it in one year with your help. But the script is what you need to understand in practical. When you get the script, you won't waste much money. You just need to re remove the fear. When you have the script and you put fear, it will be a problem. Remove the fear. The easiest thing to do is to drive. The easiest thing to do is to drive. And don't, don't allow anybody to encourage you to go and pay someone to do exam for you. It is very, very risky. Go and ask people that has lost their residence. If you have one, be grateful that you have. If you want someone to go and do exam for you, it's better you dash somebody your resident in Africa that you don't need it because you will lose it. The probability of losing it is 50-50 and a risk of 50-50 is not so right. The Spanish government knows that malpractice is an offense and is a, is a, is a grave, grave of a great offense. So you don't have to pay someone to go and do it. That money you're paying somebody, sit down with lesser money you can do it. When you do it, you can defend it. But when they do it for you, you can lose it. I know people that they did it for and they lost it today. So please, you can do it. You can do it. Just look at yourself that you can do it. I want to encourage you that you can do it. No matter how you've, you've been failing, no matter how you've been going for exam and you're still having a error, just sit down, retrain, go back and punch and you'll get it just just like a boxer when you're beating one you can go back again and refight the match and go for it when you get it you don't you you don't remember the stress don't remember the stress you have during the i could remember a woman during my class at least maybe five years ago with 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 almost eight eight months pregnancy most of the time when i finish class i have to drive this woman to almost to a house because i pity but today but today she 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 she's driving fine. So you sacrifice for it and you'll get it. You get it. I remain Mr. Steve in Madrid. Thank you very much. Thank you. Join us once again. Help us to share, help us to broadcast this every Saturday, one o'clock. We come online. Please help us. The only thing you can do for us. We are not asking you to, we are not, it's not YouTube. We are just asking you to share the message that someone might be my need. And after this teaching, if you still have questions, because I have some students that always join online, they are not here today. You can still write your question, type your question, or you call me. I'm ready to answer. Whether you are my student or you are not my student, if you have any problem when it comes to this, I'm ready to answer anyone. 24 hours. If you call me midnight, I wake up and pick your phone. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure having you online. We'll see you. We'll see you once again next week, Saturday.